Hey, Perry here. Uh, I'm setting up these mixers, these uh, QSC mixers and the QSC speakers here in Bandshare B. Um, first thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to run you through it, but because uh, I've already done that, um, is uh, I'm going to do a feedback elimination wizard. So basically, I'm just going to power on <clears throat> all the, uh, the speakers turn them up kind of where I think they'll probably end up, you know, probably somewhere around 75% of total uh, volume. Uh, then, you know, put the, crank the <clears throat> microphones up to Unity and then run the w feedback wizard so it'll kind of tune this room. <clears throat> but one, and what I've done here also, as you can see, is I've given my tenants a little instruction as to how to turn the system on and uh, in a normal system if you turn the speakers on first and then you turn the mixer on you'll get kind of a pop whereas uh, there's like a power surge that comes through the speakers and um, then you want to do the opposite you want to turn the speakers off before you turn off the mixer so that when you turn off the mixer there's another power surge that goes through the speaker so you have to turn them off and on in sequence. However, one thing that I've noticed with these QSC mixers is they don't do that, which is, I don't know if they've set that, I don't know anything about it, but I've noticed that when I've made, a mis they made the mistake of turning my mixer off before I turn my speakers off, it doesn't send a power surge. It might just, the tiniest little little pop but you can barely hear it so I don't know if they've they've put a little surge protector system in there but that's one thing I really like about these is that I don't have because I get so many bands in here in and out every day week uh, that uh, sometimes there are people that just don't know how to do that that's why I have to let, write that down and I'm still going to have people try and follow the protocol even though QSC has seemed to solve that problem for me um, but I love that because the, I'm not damaging my speakers, even if people make mistakes. And inevitably, people are going to make mistakes. I still make that mistake. So um, it's a great feature of this board. And I don't know if they did it on purpose. I don't know how they made that happen. But I've noticed it that using these, these uh, mixers uh, in my own practice space. And I'm very appreciative of it. So just another benefit of these QSC systems and uh, kudos to QSC for making that happen. Rock on.